artists often need to reshape 3D models of human-made objects by changing the relative proportions or scales of different model parts while preserving the look and structure of the inputs. Manual reshaping takes a lot of time. It took the artist five and a half hours to reshape this model. We aim to automate this process and enable artists to generate similar results algorithmically and quickly. Existing methods for 3D shape preserving deformation are not designed for reshaping human-made content and produce undesirable outputs when used for this task. As discussed in the paper, other 3D editing approaches are similarly unsuitable for our needs. Last year, Araujo and colleagues proposed a method for reshaping 2D curved networks. Their method produces promising results, but targets only 2D content. A potential approach to 3D reshaping is to extend to this method to 3D surfaces. The question is, how do we do it? Araujo and colleagues named their method ALEP, or as locally uniform as possible. Their method attempts to maximally preserve curve orientations and to scale curves as uniformly as possible locally while satisfying reshaping constraints. We observe that in 3D, asking for reshaping to scale inputs uniformly is equivalent to requiring the reshaping to be conformal. We discretize our continuous formulation using triangle meshes as a surface discretization and solve for the reshaping transformation and output meshes using a targeted solver. Here's an example output. While this works well for some content, for other gestures, naively extending ALEP to 3D creates output which diverges from human expectations. Our observations suggest that while users expect 3D reshaping to preserve orientation, they do not expect or desire uniform scaling. Instead, they seek outputs that preserve slippage and preserve the original scale of the different input model elements as much as possible. A surface is locally slippable if it is locally invariant under translational or rotational motion. For instance, spheres are invariant under rotation around any axis. And cylinders are translationally slippable along their axis and rotationally slippable around it. Users expect slippable surfaces to remain slippable post reshaping. For instance, given the cylinder which is slippable around its axis, they expect the reshaped output to retain this property. Subject to slippage preservation, users also prefer outputs that maximally retain the input dimensions. These observations form the basis for a slippage preserving 3D reshaping framework. We note that rotational and translational slippable motion is preserved when surfaces are scaled by constant factors along the principal curvature directions and that spherical regions remain slippable only under uniform scaling. We formulate these requirements as a variational optimization problem and integrate them into our solver. Here are some results. As a reference, we show the reshaping output created by an expert. It took them 75 minutes to create. Ours was generated in under 10 seconds. Users control our method by simply placing control handles on the input shape and moving these handles. Our method then generates the reshaped outputs consistent with their gestures. Here we compare our results to those created by the popular ARAP method. Here's a comparison to conformal shape deformation. Here's a comparison to Poisson deformation. Finally, here's a comparison to our baseline 3D ALEP reshaping. Here's another comparison. In a perceptual study, participants preferred our outputs over those produced by other algorithms by a large margin. They also strongly preferred our slippage-aware reshaping outputs over our baseline 3D ALEP. Participants judged our outputs to be on par with manually produced ones. While a manually produced result may take hours, we were able to reshape this chair in 30 seconds. Thank you.